now lab report quality check okay actually i want to read all of these messages but given the time that i have i will skip if you have pvtp you you can read it yourself okay because after reviewing the 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 materials here we will go back to pvtp and run the simulation right okay so by the way from lab report quality check this these are the step by step so after having this data available now we will start go back to the pvt and then we will do the job okay so here you can see we have file options data calculation okay and then you also have this one this one if you open the file you have this save and save as and this operation and then you can also click this one system options this one is actually the same with this one options okay all right so let's go we can start from the tab or we can also start start from this one first let's check the units let's use the default units click ok and then go to option okay so if you open the method you can do either black oil or you can also do equation of state in this case we will do equation of state we will do compositional modeling with the equation of state that we use is Peng robinson okay stream is called well stream you can input the user information company field location platform then the analysis and some comments here click okay okay options and units now we go to data you have select components from list enter components you can start from here or you can also go or oh, this is the unit you can also go here let's check this is the equation of state component database this is the same with this one data select component from list all right same okay so let's check so from here we will select several components in this case from hydrocarbons we have c1 down to c34 okay and non-hydrocarbons we have nitrogen co2 hydrogen sulfate water and helium and we can also create our own components or pseudo components and they will be listed here okay and some comment here okay for the hydrocarbons we will select from c1 press control down to the hexanes and then for non-hydrocarbons carbon dioxide okay all right so so in the window that opens the pure components so these are the pure components in this case c1 to c6 can be selected by clicking on each component like what i showed you before and then similar similarly non-hydrocarbons here this one in this case carbon dioxide can be selected by clicking on the relevant component okay finally we can specify the number of pseudo components in this in this case here number of pseudo components i will use one okay number of pseudo components okay so from here we will click this one enter composition okay let's be careful okay so by the way i will show you my my data let me check the data first see okay 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 so from here i will stop share and then i will go to my excel spreadsheet okay here so as you can see i have this component okay 
I have nitrogen, CO2 down to C7 plus. So C7 plus will be our pseudo component. I will copy this list. But yeah, I will be careful because here I have CO2. And then, yeah, let me check the, the, the number, okay, of each component in the PVTP. Okay, so here we have CO2, 